Hey, what's up, guys? Adi here, back with a new video. Today, I'll be talking about cloud gaming services available for your phone. So there are three main cloud gaming services available now. There's Nvidia Games, Vertex Cloud Gaming, and Xbox Streaming. So I'll be using 4G mobile data instead of Wi-Fi in this video. So with that being said, let's start with the first cloud gaming service. So the first cloud gaming app we're gonna be using today is the Xbox Streaming app. The good news is that this service costs nothing and you could use it for as long as you want. However, you have to register for Microsoft Preview Program and wait for Microsoft to select you to use this app. At the moment, this app is at very early stages and there's only four games for you to try. Microsoft said they will be expanding the library of games over 2019 and 2020 until the service is finally released for everyone to use. So the games don't really take that long to load. I'm gonna be playing Halo 5 today with the Xbox gamepad. So it's worth noting that this app needs a gamepad for it to function. You can't play this game with the uh, on-screen controls. There is uh, some other cloud gaming services that I'll be showing today that will let you play with this uh, on-screen controls. But with this one, you have to have a gamepad. So I'm going to leave a link in the description below for the Xbox gamepad that is compatible with this app. So let's jump ahead straight to the gameplay. Uh, um, this is uh, Slayer, so I'm playing a quick game uh, in Slayer and uh, just to see how the response of the game is, how the latency is using 4G network. So remember, we're not using Wi-Fi, we're not using 5G, we're using normal 4G network at 50 MBS. And I have to say, I'm quite impressed with this app. I mean, we're using 4G network, we all know 4G has a problem with the packet loss. But with this app, there is no latency. Uh, there's next to none latency. Like, uh, I feel like I'm playing on the Xbox. Uh, I don't feel like there is uh, any latency with the aiming or with any problems. So I think this one uh, really blows my mind. With how smooth the controls are, I mean, um, you just feel like you're playing on a console. I mean, of course, the screen is smaller. Um, it's harder to aim with the screen uh, being that small, but you'd get used to it. Um, I didn't get any kills, of course, in this one. Uh, I haven't played Halo in a very long time. But uh, yeah, playing through the camera and uh, through the screen, um, this small screen is harder than playing with the big screen, but you'd get used to it. So I really, really recommend this app. I left a link in the description below for you to register for the preview program for this app. It's not really hard. It's, you just leave uh, your Microsoft account and they're going to contact you if you've been selected for the preview. Okay, so that's it for the Xbox streaming app. There's only four games for you to try right now. There's Killing Instinct, there's Halo 5, Sea of Thieves and Gears 5. So the next app we'll be talking about is Vertex Cloud Gaming. So let's jump to that. Of course, most of my subscribers know this is not the first time I talk about this app, um, but I really like this app. It really has a wide selection of video games that you can play on your phone using the cloud. There is a lot of free to play games on this app. You could uh, play without owning on Steam. Uh, so there is, uh, of course, the paid games that you have to own on Steam before you play. But the most game that I like on this app is Destiny 2, of course. I mean, this game is free to play now and it's amazing. So when you press play, uh, you'll be greeted with this uh, amazing page which says you have to pay uh, $8.99 a month for you to play. Um, of course, I'm going to pay for this uh, so I could show you the, um, uh, the app and how does it work and uh, the latency of this app using 4G network. So after you paid for the subscription for the app, now you can play the game without any problems. So I'm going to be skipping ahead to show you the gameplay of this game. And I'm going to be talking about the latency and uh, if this app is worth it and worth the money. So the game has now started as you can see. And uh, it's good to know that this app, you run the PC version of the game. So you get the highest graphics and uh, the highest graphic settings of, the, of course for the game. And you can run it at 60 FPS if you... Uh, have a capable network but I mean this is the PC version you don't get the console version so it's not dialed down it's the best graphics the best frame rates uh, so let's try this app so I'm gonna skip ahead when there is a uh, shooting and aiming so I could tell if the app is capable of running the game and if the game is playable with this network because you, you could use this app with the uh, on-screen controls this is the only app uh, in this list that you could use with the on-screen control so if you don't have a controller you could just uh, use your phone but uh, the aiming is not all that um, you can swipe across the screen to aim uh, you don't have to use a stick but still I mean with the controller of course the experience is much much better so I'm gonna zoom out so you could see the controller as I'm playing and you can see the latency uh, in this app um, I have to say there is a bit of latency in this app is a bit slower than the Microsoft app uh, but 
uh, it's totally playable. I mean, uh, there's a, uh, a definitely not a problem with it. You could play without any problems. You could aim. Uh, as you can see, there's like uh, enemies that'll be coming now, and uh, the aiming is really, really good. I mean, you could aim without any problems. You could aim the, the enemies without any problem. Uh, but I have to say, my internet is really fast with this one. So I don't know about you. Um, this app requires at least seven MBS for you to play. So um, I have 50 here and. Uh, if you have 7 MBS, you could dial it down. You dial down the, the graphics as well as the frame rate for you to play at a normal rate. So the questions are, is it uh, worth your money and is it uh, better than the Microsoft app? So yeah, it is worth your money. Uh, there is no other app like it right now. I know Google Stadia is coming uh, with the wide selection of games, but this is the wider selection you have right now. And uh, is it better than Microsoft uh, with latency? No, uh, Microsoft is better with latency, but they're not better with games. As for now so the final app on this list is nvidia games unfortunately this app uh, was not working as for the making of this video because it was under maintenance so i was waiting for the maintenance to finish so i'm just gonna use that uh, old footage from uh, a gameplay i uploaded before about this app uh, i was using 4g network as well so there isn't any problem so i have to say this app has the widest selection of games i mean it has more than versus cloud gaming has more than Microsoft, it has more than any app that's available right now. It has so many games, any game you can think of on Steam, the app has it. Uh, apart from GTA, I found every single Modern Warfare game, every single Black Ops game, Apex Legends, um, Slitgate, any new game that comes on Steam, you can find it on this app, which is incredible. I mean, you can just play it on your phone. Uh, you have to know that you can't find all the games on the home screen you have to search for them yourself as you can see i searched for apex legend which wasn't on the home screen and the game is totally available on this app for you to play but what you need to know is this app we need a gamepad for you to play you can play with the on-screen controls but they are really really unusable so uh, i recommend using this app using uh, uh, xbox gamepad or any third-party gamepad any bluetooth gamepad would work with this app as you can see the app is not gonna work for me right now because the app is under maintenance so i just get an error uh, so i'm just gonna switch over to my old uh, footage um, of course it was my old uh, setup as well for youtube but um, it's the same thing okay so this is my old video and uh, i was playing uh, apex legends on nvidia games geforce now uh, i was using uh, a 4g network on the it was 30 mbs so it wasn't 50 um but as you can see, I mean, this one uh, takes uh, the lead. Uh, I mean, yeah, uh, Microsoft One is better with latency, but this one has a wider selection of games and uh, has wider than Vertex Cloud Gaming. And uh, the thing about it is uh, the latency is really, really low. It's not as good as Microsoft, but it's really, really low. I mean, uh, when you play, you feel like you're playing on the console. And the good thing as well, you get the PC version of the game. So um, yeah, you need your Steam account, you need your Origin account. But you get the PC version, which is um, much, much better with the graphics and the frame rate. And uh, if you have a high network, I mean, if you play on Wi-Fi, you'd get to up to 60 FPS, uh, 1080p game footage without any problems. So for me, this one right now is the best one. Um, Microsoft one is really good, but it doesn't have many games right now. They will expand the games. But this one right now is the best one you could use. It's definitely, um, of course, not that stable because it's not made for every single phone. You can see uh, it's hardly available for all the phones. So uh, I'm going to leave an APK for you in the description below for you to play. But I mean, it's the most stable while you're playing. Um, if the app runs and you're playing, it's the most stable and it's totally free. That's that's what's good about it. I mean, uh, you don't have to pay like in Vertex. So this is totally free. Uh, you don't have to pay anything and you can play with a controller, with that controller and with the third party controller as well. So for me, this one right now is the best one uh, uh, as a whole. So that's it for me guys. I know this one is a longer video than usual. Um, uh, so if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you like the channel, subscribe and peace.